Hello, lovely people of the world. My name is Justin, and I am one half of Love with Standing. My wife is at work at the moment. As most of you guys know, she is a nurse at a senior home. In this video, I want to share something that's potentially a life-altering news in regards to the continuing saga of Love with Standing. So is that letter correct? No, no. So I, got, I received another letter from my dad. This is almost exactly one year since the last interaction that I had with my dad. Uh, check out the next one. It's a letter, Papa. Oh, my goodness. I received a handwritten letter in the mail from my dad. It's the first contact that either of us had made since the last time I mailed him a photo album of Sabrina and Chanel right after the kid's birthday. That was immediately after Chanel turned one and Sabrina turned three, so it's been about a year since last time we had made any contact. And the last time I physically saw my dad or mom was three years ago before the pandemic and last time I had any uh, text messages with my sister was seven years ago. So this is a big deal because I've been somewhat estranged from my parents for the last few years. My parents had never came to my wedding in 2017, even though it was only about 10 minute drive from their house, and they never met my wife nor my kids, even until now. The letter goes on about health of my family, COVID and career, etc. But near the end of the letter, he asked me to come over to the house and pick up the remaining items from my old bedroom. Since the beginning of the pandemic, they didn't want me to come over because of COVID. They cited their advanced age as the reason and that they didn't want to catch COVID from me. Even after I told them that I'll bring over my old laptop for him to keep because he was asking me about buying him a new computer. And, and also they didn't get vaccinated against COVID. So they were definitely afraid of catching and dying from COVID. From this letter, it sounds like they had a shift in their mindset on how much to be afraid of COVID because now it seems like they're inviting me over to the house. He ended the letter by saying that he would reach out to me again in three months. After reading the letter, I have two questions. One, why did they leave my room emptied out? Are they trying to repurpose their room? To what end? My sister has her own room, my mom has her own room, and my dad has his own room. So why do they need another bedroom? Are they trying to make their room into a greenhouse room, growing some plants? Are they selling the house? Did the bank repossess the house because they couldn't pay the monthly mortgage payment? Are they moving back to Korea? Are they trying to cut all ties with me so they don't want any reminder of me in the house? My second question is, what's happening in three months? Why such a specific number? Was somebody diagnosed with something and was given three months to live? Is that the day they're going to move out of the house? I can't help but to think that those two questions are related. I'm going to have to either call my dad or go over there with a couple of empty luggages and try to get some answers. Let me know what you guys think about those two questions. Why they want my room emptied out? And what's the significance of three months? Hopefully, I will have the answers soon, but keep it going in the comment section. And be sure to like this video and subscribe. And that is it for today's video, but I will have an update to this uh, letter after I either call my dad or go over to the house. And keep an eye out for our next video. Bye everyone.